How's it going everyone? Maryland here! As you can see, I am right outside of Victory Road. I was doing a little bit of training here. Take a look at my Pokemon now. So, I've got Carrot, Peach, and Cauliflower, all at level 50. Spinach is at level 49, Tangerine 44, and Banana at level 43. So, what does this mean? Well, let me show you, because there's something rather cool about this. So, over here, I do have four rare candies just kind of chilling inside my bag, inside my purse. Well, legs of this purse. Um, and I know, I was reading in the comments, apparently there's another rare candy right outside of the Pokemon League. So that gives me five levels I can play around with. So, two for Banana, one for Tangerine, one for Spinach, and I still have a level left over. So that's pretty good. Um, now is the part where I have to start thinking of what I want to do. Oh my goodness, because seriously, the next episode... Yeah, we take on the Elite Four. It happens. I'm going to buy plenty of Hyper Potions. I've got 10 full restores. That should be pretty good. Um, got Paralyzed Heals, Full Heals. Oh, I actually even have a lot of Hyper Potion. Wow. That should be enough. Maybe not. I don't know. The fresh water will come in handy, though, for uh, just healing between fights and stuff. So, that's kind of nice. Um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's see. What do I need to do over here? I need to do a questions and answers video. But I also need to get my final preparations done. So I think I'm going to, um, I'm going to do a little training just, I don't know, to kill time or something. Because I got about 15 minutes worth of questions and answers and stuff. Well, special message too. So, um, yeah, I guess, uh, I don't know. I don't really need to train for another half hour, but I guess it wouldn't hurt. I didn't do much of my training on camera. That's the thing. I was like, you know what? I want to lay down on the couch. I want to watch some TV while I'm doing this and just sitting at a desk for monotonous training. And that really helped. It made it a lot more fun watching some TV and stuff. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. Let's just take a look at where everyone's at. I've not yet evolved Banana because I figure I'm just going to... I want to do it on camera, obviously. And she was actually fighting just fine on her own. Pretty impressive attack and defense, even unevolved. I did go back and give her a uh, guillotine. And, you know, I've been looking back and forth on the pronunciation of this. Growing up, I always called it guillotine. And it's kind of funny, because even in a, one of the Let's Discuss videos that I did recently with Chugga Conroy, he pronounces it guillotine as well. So I know it's not just me. But after reading in the comments, I was kind of prompted as to, uh, you know, what the correct pronunciation is. And it seems that guillotine is actually becoming more and more prominent nowadays. So I guess I'm just going to call it guillotine. If I call it guillotine, it's just, you know my natural tendency is to call it that so I did also get her crab hammer it's a pretty nice move particularly since she cannot learn waterfall uh, surf is on there just because I need it and there's no way for me to go to the move deleter and get rid of it without being able to come back here I can't do that <laughs> I can't fly this has been the hardest thing man I can't fly so I'm going to evolve banana in just a moment spinach yeah, he's at level, uh, he's at level 49, rocking headbutt, poison jab, earth power, and double kick. I think I'm going to get rid of probably both headbutt and double kick, because you can learn a ton of moves. Earth power means I don't need earthquake on you, which is kind of nice. I know earthquake would do a little bit more damage, but I think earth power should be sufficient. Um, and it's not going to help at all against Lance, because he only has flying types. I'm going to give him blizzard, that's for sure. Very impressive speed, by the way. He should be able to outspeed Lance. Same with Carrot here. Um, yeah, Carrot is looking pretty nice. Headbutt, Crunch, Pluck, and Swords Dance. I'm thinking if I want to get rid of Pluck or not. I know it's not the greatest move, but it may have its uses. Because there is that double edge that I could relearn. I don't really feel like going all the way back. 
It's such a risky move, though, but sometimes you might need that extra power. Sword stance can really help him get set up, though. That could be nice. Peach! Yeah, she's rocking it pretty good. She's got Karate Chop, Thrash, Swagger, and Cross Chop. So, uh, yeah, those are some interesting moves. Cross Chop has only 80% accuracy and only 5 PP, so that's why I also keep Karate Chop around as well. Thrash is such a risky move, but it really kind of, I don't know, it fits Peach. Kind of tempted. Actually, Swagger's really risky, too. Especially since you don't really have the defense to take much in the way of hits. But against special foes, it could be kind of nice. Then we have Cauliflower. Aw, yeah. Cauliflower has some pretty nice moves. Waterfall, Ice Beam, Ice Shard, and Signal Beam. I don't think I need to change this at all. It looks pretty solid. Signal Beam is amazing. Wow. Um, Ice Shard could come in handy against those Dragonites if I can't outspeed them. This will be a much better bet. I might try Ice Beam first and then follow up with Ice Shard. We'll just have to see. Um, that's why I have them both on there. Waterfall is just good for some decent damage. I think Surf would be slightly stronger. But... Because you can see he has 10 points higher attack than Special Attack. But I think Waterfall is a good compromise. Um, yeah, and then we have Tangerine, who needs a little bit of work. I'm thinking of getting rid of both Mega Drain and Headbutt for, um, oh, what am I going to get? Solar Beam and Sunny Day, perhaps, to, to, to trigger Chlorophyll and to also have a pretty powerful Grass-type attack. Ancient Power could help against all of Lance's Pokemon, but beyond that, I really don't know. I mean, it's such a gamble, so... Mega Drain's just so weak, and I don't think you get Giga Drain for a while. Headbutt hits very strong, though. That's the thing, but that I think Solar Beam will hit pretty good, too. I just don't like taking that turn to set up. But I guess once I do, I'm pretty much good for the rest of the fight. So that's nice. Anyway, that's my team right now. I guess I'd better go ahead and do that. Um, so let's see. Banana. Banana should be fine. Such low special attack. Spinach needs to get Blizzard on him right away. Although that double kick could be pretty handy. How much experience you got? Alright, so I think I'll train with uh, Banana here. Just for a little bit. Before I use the rare candies. I'll use the rare candies at the end. Okay, this is the boring part. Let's see. Can anyone learn Light Screen? This could do just a world of good. Um, nope. Big surprise there. I did see Solar Beam. I'll get to that in a second. I just want to kind of flip through and see what I can do. Oh, wow. Tangerine can learn Reflect. <gasps> Whoa. That is something to consider. Wow. With that, Tangerine would be able to wall quite a lot of things pretty good. Mm, it's just so tough. I don't want to get rid of anything. Well, I'll have to consider that. Let's see who can learn Earthquake, because this is a TM I have not yet taught anything. Oh, wow. Peach with Earthquake could be good. Tangerine with Earthquake could actually be very good. Um, I don't know what against, though. That's the only problem. Peach with Earthquake. Oh, you still lose to Gengar for sure. To be honest, Earthquake isn't going to help against Lance. That's the main thing I need to concern myself with. Um, did get some stuff for Focus Blast. Again, this won't help against Lance, but it's kind of curious to see who can learn it. Ah, same three. Wow. Attract. All right, let's just see who can learn this. Obviously everyone. Um, wow, that would actually be really funny on Banana. Huh, I don't know. I see so much potential in that move. I just... It's best on a female Pokemon right now. Because of Lance. Oh yeah, Dragon Pulse. That's right. This is a possible move that I could teach Spinach to counter the Dragonites and just hit for decent damage all around. The only problem is he can also learn Blizzard, and Blizzard will be way more effective against him. So that's why I think I'm going to use Blizzard. Avalanche. Now there's a risky move. 
Very risky. Both Cauliflower and Spinach can learn it, but I have to receive damage first. So that's why it might not be a very good move against Dragonites, who can hit pretty hard. U-turn. Alright, um... <laughs> Carrot and Peach can both learn U-turn. That's kind of funny. Too bad they're not really that defensive. Um... Yeah, then there's just HM moves. Oh, Dark Pulse. I don't foresee this being... Oh, no, I already deduced that no one can learn that. No need. Well, let's see. I guess we'll go for Sunny Day and Solar Beam. Blizzard. I wonder who can learn Hail that might be helpful. Oh, Banana can learn Hail. Now that's an interesting, that is an interesting idea. If I had Banana lead the fight, then use Hail against Gyarados, then Spinach could come in and just blizzard everything with perfect accuracy. That is not a bad idea. I'd have to get rid of Guillotine though. That's the thing I don't want. Um, oh my goodness, I just don't know. That hail and blizzard combo could be amazing. Because I was thinking of using those two anyway. Anyone interesting learn Dragon Claw? I don't think so. I think we already went over that, yeah. Alright, well. First things first. Let's go ahead and get this sunny day going. We'll give it a tangerine. Oh, that sleep powder is so nice. Um, I will hate not having Mega Drain and Headbutt, but I guess it's okay. Ancient Power. Do I really need this? I mean, well, yeah, what am I talking about? That's pretty much my only hope if I have to use her against Lance. So let's just get rid of Mega Drain and Headbutt. Alright, there you go. You got your sunny day. I already picked up Solar Beam. Cool. Get rid of Headbutt. There we go. I know, I probably could be doing the questions and answers during this. But I kind of like to talk my, uh, you know, my train of thought through with you guys. It just seems to kind of, I don't know, be interesting. It seems to be helpful. So, that's why I'm doing it. Alright, Blizzard. Carrot can learn Blizzard. That's interesting, but I don't think he has a special attack to make much use of it. Alright, um, you know what? I actually think Double Kick... Oh, man... I probably don't need to teach him Blizzard until I get to Lance. Sort of like having five moves. I'm trying to think if there's anything that would require it. I not that Headbutt's that great, but... Double Kick could be handy against, um... Oh, what's her name? You know, Karen. Headbutt... Could be good against... You know what? I'm just going to hang on to Blizzard. No, if I don't teach it, I'm not going to. I'm going to forget about it. Poison Jab. You know, I think Poison Jab will actually do just as much as Double Kick. It's 80 power plus the 50% there. That's 120. So it actually will do as much as Double Kick. Um, shoot. Or Earth Power, for that matter. That'll do plenty. Well, I'll probably end up teaching him one other move. So let's just go ahead and get rid of uh, Double Kick. Because this thing can't make you flinch. Nothing is quad weak to fighting there. I'm going to forget. So, like, if I don't get rid of this now, I'm going to just totally space out and not ever learn it. And that'll just stink when I get all the way over to uh, Lance! Oh my goodness. Okay, so. We've got TMs going. Uh, 
70 special attack. That's just not really sufficient, but it's not the end of the world. I guess it'd be better than pluck. It's such a risky tr strategy. I'd probably be more likely to, well, if he's facing off against Dragonites, it might just be the thing that'll help save the day. I guess it's better than pluck. Well, okay, no, you know what? I'll do that. I'll do that after I get through. Because I know there's like a vile plume around. I know that there's a few different things that are weak to flying. Um, hopefully I wouldn't need to use that, but I'll try to remember. Okay, so what now, right? I'll have to rearrange my items. I'll probably do that on a um, per Elite Four basis. Like I'll try to get them all switched around between each fight because there might be berries that'll help. But, for right now, I'm just going to do a little bit of training, and, um... No. I could get rid of Surf. Put Surf onto Spinach. Get rid of Headbutt. And then... Teach Banana Hail. It's a possibility. Because Surf is really not very good on Banana. Look at that special attack. Ugh. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Okay, so I'll go ahead and I'll teach Spinach Surf. And, um... I will... Let's see. Where is Surf? I guess that makes sense. All right, Spinach. I'm going to surf on a Nido King. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Should even do a little bit more than Headbutt. Now, I think I'm going to actually run all the way back to... Oh, my goodness. I have to go all the way back there, don't I? I do. Yep. I do. So I'm going to leave with Cauliflower. I'm going to give the experience share to Banana. Maybe I'll fight things along the way. I got to do like a little bit of training. So I was actually able to train with all of them. Yeah, I guess this will be a good little filler thing. My trip all the way over to, uh, to whatchamacallit. I'm just going to go there, get the, uh, get the move deleted, and then I'll run back here. I'm not going to take a break to say, hey, I'm deleting a move, because you'll see it. Look at you. What? <sighs> Focusing with a sharp gaze. So, let the questions and answers begin. All right, so it's finally time for some questions. We're going to start off these questions with some from Video Games Epic. Now, there's actually quite a few questions in here, but they're all really good questions. What, in your opinion, is the best generation to start a Nuzlocke on, and why? A lot of people really like doing them on the third generation, either Fire Red or Leaf Green, or Ruby Sapphire or Emerald. They seem to be well fitted for that. Otherwise, Generation 5 is pretty fun, too. Generation 4 can be rather challenging just due to um, Cynthia's Garchomp if you're playing Diamond or Pearl or Platinum. Where did you get your background image on the Emerald Nuzlocke? This is actually a really funny story. The background image? used in the sidebar, is actually just the box of emerald flipped upside down. It's crazy. It's it's like, what? But that's actually it. I'll, I'll show you it. There you go. Playthroughs of old games. Will you do any? Meaning things like red or blue, gold, silver, crystal, Coliseum XD, etc. Well, I probably won't just do normal playthroughs of those older games anymore, except possibly Coliseum and XD. I wanted to do Coliseum a bit back, um, so I might still do that, since people wanted to see it. Where do you get the images you use for your Pokémon on the sidebar? It's actually just the stock Sugimori art. You can find it all over the place. You answered what your favorite starter is, but what is your least favorite starter? That would have to be... Turtwig. I'm sorry, I really don't like Turtwig all that much. Anyway, I have to give a huge amount of thanks to Golden Sand Slash 15 for compiling a big list of questions from part 33, which was blended in with so many other questions. In fact, I'll even start with a question by Golden Sand Slash 15. When X and Y come out, will you do a blind LP like you did with Black 2? 
Will you be doing a regular adventure? Will you be doing a Nuzlocke or Wedlock? And which of these, if any, will be with X and which, if any, will be with Y? When they come out, I'm going to do just a normal walkthrough type playthrough. It will be blind because I won't know what's going on since the Japanese games weren't released ahead of time. And um, I will probably be doing it on X. Now, I may someday do a Nuzlocke or a Wedlock on these games. It will not be initially, probably not until 2014. Um, but I will definitely keep it into consideration, and that will probably be on why. Okay, a couple questions from Katie Love to Sing 18. What's your favorite color, Marilyn? Blue. What's your favorite type of Pokemon? Water. Well, who's more epic, Zoroark or Lucario? Uh, I don't know, Zoroark, I guess? What's your favorite Pokemon movie? Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. I just liked it, it was kind of nice. And who are you going to choose for Gen 6? Probably Froakie. I like Froakie. Madman of RPG asks, why do you put yourself through the stress of a wedlock? I don't know. Mr. Nutguts asks, out of all of the deaths in any Nuzlocke or wedlock, which one was the saddest? You know, I really don't know. I think probably omelets. Uh, you know, spoilers for my Emerald Nuzlocke series. I just, uh, I loved her so much. But also Apricot was really hard, especially knowing that Lettuce was fighting so bravely without her. Zach Rance asks, why don't you make more Minecraft videos while you were training? Because then I'm not spending time training. This is Certainly Exile asks, if you do another Nuzlocke or Wedlock, will you use the same nicknaming theme or will you switch it up? I thought of a few different nicknaming themes. I like doing it with a theme, but I might switch away from food. Pokemon Warrior Cat 13 asks, why don't you make more White 2 videos? because I've already made 137 episodes and there's very little left I have to do. I'm working on a big compilation that I've talked about for a whole lot of time and it's already taken 70 hours worth of work on it. So once that gets done, maybe, but there's not that much left to do. Dr. John Reborn asks, how much do you pay attention to Eevee training when you're doing off-screen training? Not all that much, but I actually did kind of like fighting against the tentacruels and tentacruels because I knew they'd give good special defense. EVs, and that's rather helpful for some of those fights. So Fool's Crew asks, did you invent the Wedlock Challenge? If so, can we players of Wedlock invent our own clauses? Yeah, um, aside from the Nuzlocke parts of the Wedlock Challenge, I did invent the Wedlock Challenge. Um, you know, I looked in to see if there was anything similar. I didn't find anything exactly similar, or not too much even close to it. And I've been thinking of this for over a year now, so, you know... It was fun to do that. But yes, I absolutely encourage people to play Wedlocks on their own. That's fine. Have fun with it. If you want to introduce new clauses or invent new clauses, hey, that's fine too. Just keep in mind that I'm probably only going to be doing Nuzlocks and Wedlocks. So if you come up with an idea, hey, that's cool and all, but, you know, I'm probably not going to play it. Mysterious15 asks, what got you the idea of doing a Wedlock in the first place? I actually don't remember what started it. I was bored one day and I fired up my Japanese Pokemon Black version and um, restarted that and just wanted to try this thing I'd been thinking of and it, it sounded kind of fun. I wanted to do it for uh, Valentine's Day in 2012. Um, so I wanted to do a practice run on Black just to see how it would work or if it were even possible. And it was a lot of fun, so I'm glad I, glad I started with that. Empoleon Zigrate asks, what would be your advice? for Let's Playing Commentary. Well, I mean, most importantly, be natural. But practicing is also an important thing too. I mean, I didn't start off very confident in my ability to do commentary. It took a lot of practice and a lot of time. And also just, uh, you know, try to think of engaging things to talk to your audience about. I mean, talking solely about yourself or solely about, oh, I wish this recording would have been better, but I'm not gonna do anything about it. So, you know, no one wants to hear about that. So try to avoid those things. I hear that too often when I'm looking at Let's Plays. They're complaining about the quality of things rather than doing anything about it. Cosmo Hermita asks, could you play other games other than Pokemon and Minecraft? I could, but I'm just sticking to mostly Pokemon and the occasional Minecraft video on my channel. Sorry. Mimi Nini Kiki asks, do you think the Pokemon species name should be capitalized or not? I personally think that they should not. Roxanne the Fox asks, what is Legs' personality? Well, I see her kind of as a quiet type. Um, you know, strong, athletic probably, runs all around, doesn't sleep. Um, you know, she's a hard worker. 
Okay, so this is another good question by Golden Sand Slash 15. When you encounter NPCs, you can change your voice to match them. Little girl, old man, etc. Is this digitally edited in post-production, or can you do crazy things with your voice like that? And, if the latter, how do you do it? You know, that's actually kind of funny. I do, um, I do all of that live. I do all the voices and stuff just while I'm playing the game. Um, I don't have the best voice range in the world, but I do try to make things interesting. I did a whole bunch of kind of voice acting stuff just for kicks uh, back in some of my younger days. So I've learned different voices and different techniques and stuff. So I don't really know how to explain how to do it because it just comes natural to me. But that's just kind of, it is something that I do on the spot while I'm playing. Yay, banana leveled up. All right, now it's finally time for you to evolve, banana. Just breaking into the questions really quick. Sorry about that. You know how it goes. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at her now. Cookie, cookie. <laughs> Sweet. Banana evolved into Kingler. Now I have my... What? You want to learn slam? No, that's okay. You don't need to slam anything. It's all right. Instead, I want you to learn hail. All right, let's take a look at you. Oh, so much better. Oh, yeah, 125 in each of those stats, 101 speed. That's pretty darn good. Wow, that was a big improvement. Jeez, look at that attack and defense. Man, you're a warrior. I like that. I like how the females are, like, super bulky. Well, other than Peach, I guess. Actually, she has amazing special defense. Huh. Alright, anyway, um, time to resume the questions and answers. Sorry about breaking into that. Zelda Minecrafter 1998 asks, Who is cuter, Teddy Ursa or Cub Chew? I gotta say Cub Chew! Fangs and Talons asks, Do you like the show's white collar or burn notice? Heck yeah! They are like two of my favorite shows, I'm not kidding. I love Burn Notice. I got into that over the summer and it's just pretty much the best thing. And um, I've also been following White Collar since the very beginning. Season 1 was pretty good, but it's just gotten so great over time. I, those are like two of my favorite shows on television right now and they're just amazing. Bindi Eevee asks, Maryland, are there any Pokemon that you're disappointed you didn't get to catch and use? Yeah, there's two I can think of right now. That Scyther, who killed poor Cantaloupe, and then that Murkrow that I really wanted. Either of those two would have been awesome on my team. Yoda the Jedi 12 asks, Do you ever intend on resuming the Soul Silver video series? Well, really, no. The reason for this is I recorded pretty much the whole series over, or almost three years ago. That's a long time. It was with my camcorder. There were a lot of problems with it. It wasn't even with live commentary. And I was doing the whole thing. That was one of my few forays into streaming. And it just, I'm not pleased with that series. I don't like how it turned out. That's why I did Heart Gold. So I felt like I could put Soul Silver away and just let it end. But there, it's not going to be a good series anymore because I'd have to do post commentary over it in order to save it, and the quality looks terrible. So that's why I'm not continuing it. Flygon017 asks, what do you use to edit your videos and record your voice? Well, I use Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 to do the actual video editing and stuff. And then I have a Samson CO3U microphone. It's a USB microphone, and that's what I do to uh, record my voice. I record the actual footage using Fraps and using a modified DS with a USB video output. Um, you'll have to Google it, sorry. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the stuff I use. Uh, Sony Vegas is actually another option. It's a bit cheaper, but uh, it works very well, and that's what I did a lot of my series on. All right, and now I've got just some stuff I want to talk to you about. So, a few things. First of all, should I fail against the Elite Four and the Champion, what will happen? Well, for starters, my whole team will be dead. That stinks. But beyond that, will I consider that a game over? 
or will I continue the series? Here's what's going to happen should that take place. I will put the series on hold because it will take so long to train up new Pokemon to level 50 or so. I might not even want to do it, but I'll try to. Um, but I will start a new series in its stead, should that happen, because I want to keep the videos going. I don't want to just spend my whole life training, and I think that would be kind of fun. I could incorporate it into the story somehow. Kind of like, uh, well, I won't spoil things for you, but in the original Nuzlocke comics, let's just say something happened, and, uh, you know, it worked. It worked rather well for the story. So I might do that. Now, lastly, I just want to talk to you about what it means to be a Maryland fan, okay? A lot of people think that just by, you know, watching my videos that, yeah, they're a fan. They're, you know, you're totally on board for this. It's, it's great. You know, he's a cool guy. He's so awesome. Oh, my goodness. Or, you know, you might just be a casual watcher that's like, oh, yeah, his videos are pretty cool. You know, that's fine. But one thing that I just want to be expressed, you know, there's been a lot of there's been a lot of negativity in the Let's Play community, um, you know, over the course of YouTube's history. And I hate seeing that. You know what just bothers me is when I see people bring down other Let's Players. When they say, oh, your videos stink, or, oh, Maryland's videos are way better than yours. Get a life, you loser, or whatever. I mean, I don't like to see that. That doesn't mean anything. By doing that and by calling people names or by treating them rudely, you're not a true Maryland fan. You might watch my videos, but you're not really a fan. So just take a moment and think, you know, what am I doing by, you know, belittling someone? What am I doing by saying, hey, you know, you don't, your videos aren't, as good as my favorite person's videos, so you should just quit everything. If I did that for every time I heard a comment like that, I mean, I'd be long gone. I wouldn't have kept going this far. And, you know, I'm sure there's probably people out there that are like, well, you should have quit, gosh darn it. But yeah, you know what? I'm doing this for fun. And I think that's something else that a lot of even popular Let's Players are forgetting. They're forgetting why they're doing videos in the first place. I find it's very important to take things you know, lightheartedly, to have fun with it, to realize, hey, you know what, people are gonna do whatever, but at the end of the day, if you have fun making videos, and if you're not doing it for the money, and if you're not doing it for the popularity, but you're just doing it because you genuinely enjoy the game, you enjoy the community, and you want to see good come out of the community rather than bad, I think you're doing it for the right reasons, and that's always been the kind of Let's Player I am. So, I'll just ask this of you. This is a question for you, I guess. Would you be willing to just, you know, rather than leave negative comments on other people's videos, regardless of if you don't like them or not, rather than do that, would you just let it be? There's no reason to do that. You're not really accomplishing anything. You know, I know it seems like, yeah, you're, you're voicing your opinion, and hey, you are totally free to have your opinion. But opinion and kindness are different things. And you can be constructive in your criticism, and that can accomplish a lot. Like, hey, get a better microphone, or try this. And when I say get a better microphone, I mean, hey, you know, the microphone quality could be better. You should try this microphone out, or that one. Or, you know, something constructive rather than destructive. Destructive criticism is just the worst. It's like, you know, it's not really worth it. It really isn't. And just being mean, I mean, that's the thing I just, I can't stand. I would hope that any fan of mine, in fact, this is what I really would like to ask of you, if you consider yourself a fan of Maryland, please just keep it classy. You know, I mean, don't be trolling, don't be bringing other people down, because I'll tell you right now, that is not what Maryland does, and that's not what true Maryland fans do. That's not what I'm about. It really isn't. So... I just had to take a moment and say that. Um, yeah, so let's uh, wrap this little questions and answers session up. Well, we're here. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed that little discussion. Um, yep. Let's uh, feed these Pokemon some rare candy really quick. 
and then wrap that episode up. I'm not going to teach Hale until I get to Lance. Same thing with Blizzard for uh, Carrot, just because I don't think they're necessary, and they're certainly not necessary beforehand. In fact, I should see if there's any just throwaway move. Nah, I don't really... No, just... wait. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 let's not do that. Let's not get all fancy now. Let's just use these rare candies. All right, so we got to get banana up to 45. Good. Um, we need to get tangerine up to 45. Good. That's actually the only requirement I have. So I have three levels. I think I'll get these two up to 46 and then give spinach one to make him level 50. I think that'll be good. Here you go, buddy. All right, two more. Tangerine. And finally, let's give a little bit more candy to Banana. There we go. Okay, so they are set. Uh, I do have some PP ups. I wonder if that's a good idea. I shouldn't need more than five in a fight, though. I got plenty of Max Ethers. Oh, well. Should be fine. Got enough Hyper Potions. Got enough, uh, pretty much everything. I guess I'll buy another, I don't know, five full restore. Hopefully I never need to use those. Um, do I have enough full heals? I'll get four of those. There we go. Alright, now, uh, yeah, I think that's actually all I need to do. So I'm going to heal up. It would be a shame to uh, forget to do this. <laughs> Oh my goodness, finally going in. It's finally happening. Can't believe this. Yep, I am going to do Kanto should I survive though, so don't worry. Um, but let's take one last look at my team before we head on in. And I think I'm actually going to lead with, you know what? I bet you Carrot would do pretty good with crunch and everything. I don't know. It's really risky because of peach. I think cauliflower is still my best bet. Um, but I'm really nervous about using him early on because that'd just be a shame. I really need him. <laughs> um, I really need everyone. What am I talking about? Oh well. We'll figure out what order we're going to do next time. So, on that note, I'll see you all. Hey, get over here. Come on. I want you on my head. There we go. <laughs> I will see you in the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Heart Gold Wedlock. See you next time, Elite Trainers.